Hello and welcome to Anthony's Brick Built, and today we'll be going over a really cool Lego Star Wars set, and I can't wait to go over it with you guys today. But before we go on, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn notifications, spy on if you haven't already, and let's head right on into the set. We'll be going over the 75394 Imperial Star Destroyer set. This will be retailing for 160 US dollars with 1,555 pieces. We'll be releasing on August 1st, 2020. Four. And this also has been officially revealed by the LEGO group, so I want to thank Ash and Flash for the really great pictures here so we can get a really nice high-definition look at the Star Destroyer. Now, one other thing, this is up for pre-order on Amazon. This I am making this video at 6 o'clock in the morning, so it probably might be on LEGO.com later in the day, but it is on pre-order for the Revenge of the Sixth. Amazon preview thing today, so I want to get that into the video, but we're going to be starting off right now. I have the pictures in front of me. It looks incredible. I love the 25th anniversary box art. Cal Kestis is an anniversary minifigure included in this set. You also have Death Star in the background with two more Imperial Star Destroyers below the ship with a really cool explosion above. I mean, that's just really, really cool. But let's kind of get a look at the minifigures. Our first anniversary minifigure is Cal Kestis. Now I do want to say his printing on his torso looks really good. They also gave him foot printing, which looks really nice. The only qualm I have about this figure is no poncho. Where's the poncho? I mean, this, he's supposed to have a poncho. I mean, they gave Saul Guerrero his cape. Why don't they give Cal Kestis his poncho? I mean, that would be kind of cool if they gave him his poncho, but Maybe if you have the 2016 or 15 Imperial Shell Tidarium, you can use Leia's poncho as a substitute, but that's a, it's a really good figure altogether, though. And then we're moving on to the rest of the figures included in the set. We have Darth Vader with the really nice printed arms. We also have Commander, a Commander um, in this set. I, he, does, he is a named character, but I do not know exactly what his name is. An Imperial Crew Pit Officer, which looks really good. He, I believe, is the same one as a 2019... UCS Star Destroyer with, without the printed on the arms. Then we also have an Imperial Gunner. Looks really nice. I do think that's a new print on the helmet with that red and blue and that kind of slightly gray print on the right side of his helmet. You also got an Imperial Navy Trooper. Looks really nice. No printed legs on him though. Notice that about the commander too. And then of course you just have a regular Stormtrooper. Not too much to say about the Stormtrooper. Regular Stormtrooper. Nice get included in the set, but what we're really here for is the Star Destroyer. Now, I gotta say, it looks really, really good. That perfect wedge-shaped formation. You have that, of course, with eight turbo lasers, four on each side. It does have a handle where you can pick it up. We'll show that image in a couple of seconds. I do have to say, it looks really good. Not too many stickers included in the set. It is a little sad that the viewport up at the top is a sticker. Right? You kind of see a little bit of a sticker around it. Um, you can also move the turbo lasers by using some back parts and by using some kind of technic stuff in the back of the ship. So that's pretty cool. You can move turbo lasers forward or the turbo lasers backwards. That's what kind of the images kind of suggest. And you also have the back of the bridge area looks really good. And you can also see that you have that handle made out of all that technic stuff. Looks pretty good. The ion engines look great. The three main ion engines. Probably just how I thought LEGO would do it, but it looks all the same altogether. And of course, if you can kind of see on the right side of the image, LEGO has included a silver mug or a, or a glass mug. I mean, I think that's pretty funny. They put a mug in there. Um, but moving on to like the back of the box art picture, looks really good. It shows the Star Destroyer landed on maybe, I'm guessing, Kuat because you have that large like AT-AT hauler in the background. Maybe that could be a potential set one day that could be, but that's probably not it. But you do also have some spots for all the figures to stand around. And also it's like a hollow projector with some red and blue. Wish it was like a little tiny Palpatine one. That would be really sick. Or maybe it is in here, but they didn't show it. Probably not, but I hope so. you got also Vader and the Commander standing on the probably the walkway. On either side, you have the crew pits. Looks really good. Definitely going to be a day one buy. And here's like a better image of the crew pits with, of course, Darth Vader. And in the background of that image, you can see some schematics of the Star Destroyer. It does look like that is a sticker. And you also have this funny little image of 
Vader poking his head around the corner looking at a Imperial officer. So that is pretty much all of these pictures of this really cool 75394 Imperial Star Destroyer. Again, this will be retailing for 160 US dollars coming out on August 1st, 2024 with 1,555 pieces. Let me know what you think this awesome set down in the comments section below. Uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the notifications button if you haven't already. Try and hit 2,000 subscribers. Really hope we do. I'll see you guys in the next Star Wars video. May the Force be with you.